Hello again. Now, the future is not something to be predicted. It is something to be created. With the release of the 2023 metric results, South Africans are looking ahead to another generation of young people whose fate is likely to be determined by that outcome. Khatija Yassim, Associate Professor from the Department of Education, Leadership and Management in the Johannesburg University, joins us now talking more about diversifying education pathways. Prof, good afternoon. Welcome to today and thank you very much uh, uh, for your time. I, I like the, what you say okay. in, 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 in what you've written about the future for young people simply because when you look ahead today, you cannot exclude the digital part of, 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 of us because and in South Africa we have this big digital divide. So when the matriculants are finishing now, the future, which is today, is digital. So when they look at how to progress for success, after the success at school, they should put digital at the core of their plans, shouldn't they? Absolutely, Dan. I think that as we celebrate the success uh, of a, uh, a increased uh, percentage of matric learners who have passed, we also have to contextualize that within the bigger reality that is true for South Africa. Uh, this is the reality that we have a subset uh, of school uh, learners who um, only matriculate and beyond that backdrop is a high rate of dropouts as well as uh, those learners who will not be able to access higher education, which means then that we do have uh, a, a number of people in the pipeline that may add to our unemployment rate. So one has to contemplate the success of the matric, which is really something